oh, my child is just a problem and they're doing terrible in high school. Ah, those are the ones who can be most successful when they mature into adults. I think teachers need to realize is that investment into our students are forever. So everyone has something at stake in education, even for ourselves, lifelong learning, right? As we continue growing in our careers. And I think that's the key. But it's a question that all of us have asked when we were students. Why do I need to know this? I think a real struggle for teachers is identifying who your students are. We still don't quite understand what it takes to turn the whole system into a kind of a high-performing, successful, world-class system. A lot of people are curious how to change that, how to go from being limited in their classroom, limited with devices, limited in communication. It hasn't been really leading a kind of a systems improvement where the schools, for example, are competing against one another rather than collaborating. We need to always look at the technology or anything we're bringing into the classroom and have a balance. Hold on to the important things. It's rewarding for teachers too to bring that into their classroom and see their, the sparkle in their students' eyes that they're really excited to learn. To illustrate what I mean, at the end of every class, we should be taking five, ten minutes to say, so what have we learned? How have we learned it? Your teacher, if you work in a classroom most of your time, uh, is a thank you for your, for your work.